Hello friends, welcome to Investing Right. When it comes to when one thinks of the infrastructure companies in India to invest, the first thing comes to our mind is the basic infrastructure materials like steel, cement. So here is an opportunity for investors to invest in Damco Cement, one of the major south-based cement company at a massive discount. I am talking of its holding company Rajapalaya Mills. Rajapalaya Mills holds a small stake in Ramco Cements. But that stake is discounted so much in Rajapalaya Mills that we are getting it at 84% discount. Rajapalaya Mills itself is having an operating company which is not doing very well because they are into textiles. Its profits are not significant. But we are only concerned with the with its stake in Ramco Cements. So let's see the details. Okay, Rajapalaya Mills. Rajapalaya Mills has over 13% stake in the flagship company Ramco Siemens Limited. And it is quoting at a substantial discount to the holding value. It has also stake in Ramco Industries, another holding company of the Ramco Group and Ramco Systems in a very small quantity. Rajapalaya Mills is quoting at 610 and it's at a 84% discount. Let's see the price charts of this company. So first see the details of Ramco Siemens, which Rajapalaya Mills holds. This is the one year price chart of Ramco Siemens. From 790 pre-COVID, it had fallen in March to 473. Now it has regained most of its losses and now it is quoting at 730. It's one of the most promising cement companies in the South, South India. It has a market cap of 17,000 crores, PE of 3.48. Now let's look at the financials of this company. Last the result was not bad. It made a net profit of 110 crores. It has around 800 crores uh, debt. That is what is seen by the payment of 29 crores in this quarter as interest. Let's see whether the promoters have pledged any of the shares. Okay, a very minuscule promoter holding is pledged 1.97 percentage and the DIS hold around 37 percentage of this company. Mutual funds holds about 23.87, 82 percentage. So there is good faith by mutual funds and mutual fund holdings by Kotec Mahindra Multicap Fund, Kotec Emerging Equity, DSP Midcap Fund, Kotec Standard Multicap all holds shares in Ramco Cement. So we have an easy way. We don't have to buy Ramco Cement. We can always invest in Rajapalayam, which holds shares in Ramco. So let's look at the price chart and movements in this company. Last one year, this is the price chart. Pre-COVID level, it was around 850. It had fallen to 455. And then it is now quoting at around 620. The market cap of this company is just 457 crores, which is just above its book value. And the price to book is 1.53. So if you look at the last quarter results, it has made a loss. This is also into textiles and mills. So they have an operating business where they have made some losses. They have a textile business also, which is not doing very good, but we are not about this business because we are only mainly concerned about its holding in Ramco Cements. So in my sheet, it is having Ramco Cement, this many shares and Ramco Industries, this much, Ramco Systems, this much. Okay. All this, their holdings gives a discount of 83.78 as of today. So if somebody wants an exposure to the infrastructure, it is very difficult at this point of time to take a call on whether to invest in infrastructure companies. But then the basic infrastructure companies like steel and cement will definitely do well in long term. The demand for construction in the residential and commercial sector is bound to increase. So it is very difficult to identify which part of the infrastructure companies will do well. But then the basic infrastructure things like cement has to do well. So this is the best way to get this company at an 84% discount. I have done a video the details of why holding companies exist and then how its value can be unlocked over long term. Kindly watch it to understand these concepts fully. I'll be posting more such holding company details in the coming days. So if you don't want to miss on them, kindly click the bell icon. So the target price I am setting for I am setting for Dajapalayam is rupees 
4,800 by year 2030. The longer period is given because holding companies tend to unlock its value only in the long term, only in a bullish cycle. So I am sure there is a very good way of investing in order to get advantage of the infrastructure boom which can happen in India in the coming decade. And when you buy for around 2 lakh, you are in fact buying Damco Siemens for 10 lakhs. So see that difference and if you believe in the Siemens sector, if you believe in Damco Siemens, Rajapalayam is the way to go. So I hope friends you would like this video. If you are finding it interesting, please share it with your friends, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.